In this chapter, we'll give you a glimpse of how Photo Impact lets you create shapes and objects with its vector-based path tools, as well as how to apply 3D effects to these objects. But first, since we're not dealing with an existing photo, we'll start with opening a new file. To create a new document, click on the New Image button, or just click Ctrl-N. This will open up the New Image dialog box. You'll see that you have quite a few choices to make. First, check out the Preview section on the right. This lets you see what size and shape your image will be when it's output. But you first have to tell Photo Impact what kind of image you'll be making. For instance, whether you'll be using it for web or for printing. Select Printer Portrait so it'll give you a preview of how large the image will be when your image is printed. For the canvas color, select for the base image to be white, which is the default background color. For image size, click on Standard and then go to the drop-down list and select 1280 by 1024 pixels. Notice how the size of the image in the preview window changes when you do this. In the resolution section, select Printer, which will automatically create our image at 600 pixels per inch. Notice again that the size of the image changes since you're choosing a more dense resolution. Now you're ready to start creating a new image by using paths. Photo Impact makes it possible for you to convert image objects and selection area marquees into paths. A path is an object that you can make by creating lines, curves, or a combination of both, which are connected to one another by control points. You can use paths to draw shapes and create colorful 2D and 3D objects. Select the Path Drawing tool in the Tool Panel. Go to the Attribute bar to choose the shape that you want to draw. Select Circle. It doesn't matter what the color or texture is, we'll change that soon. Click and drag your pointer across the workspace to create a circle. Now you'll use the Easy Palette to modify the color, shape, and texture of your circle. First, make sure the circle is selected. Click on the Easy Palette button in the Panel Manager. Select the Galleries Library. Now select the Material Gallery and click on the folder named Metallic. Find the last thumbnail named M24 and either double click or drag and drop it onto your circle. Now create a second smaller circle by first copying and pasting the first one. Or for an easier way, just hold down the control key and drag the circle. Using the Transform tool, make the second circle slightly smaller. Remember to hold down the Shift key as you do it so it keeps the aspect ratio. In Easy Palette, go to the same material gallery and select a folder named Plastic. Double click on the thumbnail named P12 or drag and drop it onto the second smaller circle. Now take the smaller red circle and place it over the metallic circle. If the red circle disappears behind the other one, do this. Select the red circle. Then go to the Object menu and select Arrange, then Bring Forward. In this chapter, we've shown you briefly how to create a path object. In the next chapter, we'll show you how to create dynamic text and how to use Photo Impact's unique Z-Merge feature.